Okay, so I've been trying to take some behind the scenes setup with me whenever I can. I think it's fun and useful to show people what all goes into a project. After all, I think of myself as more than just a guy showing up at the camera. Hopefully. But I pulled the plug on it for this job pretty fast. That doesn't mean that there isn't something to share about it. It just won't have any of that fun getting ready footage that I had in my head. Still, this was a great example of why either you or the people you hire for a video production job should always be prepared for if and when something goes wrong. What? Especially when it comes to live events and especially when it comes to recording audio. Part of what makes live events so much fun is you really only get one shot to get it right. People hire me because there's something special happening and they don't just want to remember it, they want to capture the moment and the feel of the day. That's a big responsibility. So when it comes to being prepared, we're not just talking about extra batteries, like the memory card you record on could fail. That's why important events and even silly videos <laughs> like this one, the cameras I use record the same footage in two different locations. If the camera itself, whoa, 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 dude, dude, what? Make sure that there's a second one. And if I'm on location and I'm using two cameras, I make sure that I take a third. It's not that you expect things to go wrong, just be prepared or make sure that whoever you're hiring is prepared. Now audio can be tricky, especially if it's on a moving subject. I don't think you want to walk up to somebody during a presentation and be like, sorry, 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 sorry. Could you just rewind like five minutes? Thanks. Okay, so really my first instinct was that it's bad business to admit when something doesn't go according to plan. Like, oh no, Jimmy screwed up. But then I was all like, meh. Listen, the way I see it, being prepared for when electronics fail is kind of critical. So yeah, you never really want something to go wrong, but do it enough and something is just bound to happen. Anyone who's ever said they've never had a gear issue, they're lying to you. Oh, Even legendary filmmakers have been known to fly across the country, drive across town, and get to a movie set only to realize they completely forgot the camera. Like, that's embarrassing. In this instance, I was at a funeral and a child accidentally hit the stop button on my main mic's uh, external recorder. <laughs> say that three times really fast. And let's just say if I ran to where it was, I would be a bit of a distraction. But I also had a lavalier mic on the preacher and a secondary shotgun mic pointed right at him, both of which were picking up great audio and both of which I was able to monitor with headphones. So now is a good time to mention that if anyone's watching this who was at that event and saw the video, I bet you'll never even know it happened. Anyway, I just thought I'd mention that while mistakes can happen, if you're working with somebody who prepares for the just in cases, you'll probably never even know it. Oh. So just forget that I ever said anything. <laughs>